Hi guys, this is Jen here, and I have another slow cooker Sunday dinner for you. I'm going to show you how to make a slow cooker chicken cacciatore. It's really easy, pretty much just um, putting everything in the slow cooker, but very flavorful, and my family really likes this recipe. So what I have is in my slow cooker, I sprayed it really well with olive oil, of course, so that nothing sticks. And then you can use six boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I have those, and I also added a chicken breast that I cut in half um, just because I wanted some leftovers. So just basically one package of chicken thighs, you want about six of them, uh, boneless, skinless. So you just season those really well with salt and pepper and put those right into the bottom of the slow cooker. And while I do this, I'll tell you what I do for our Sunday's dinners. So we usually have slow cooker dinners on Sunday um, when we get home from church, from our, our morning service. So we have our large meal after church because we're always starving. And what I do is I just put everything in the slow cooker the night before, like on Saturday evening, and put it in the fridge and then in the morning, I just turn it on and um, that way I don't have to try to prep it while I'm getting ready for church and um, it just makes it really easy. So I have all the chicken in there and then you're going to add to that one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And I don't drain that because it has the tomato juice in there. And then I'm not going to be able to do this and hold the camera, but I have one six ounce can of tomato paste and you'll just add that in and I'll have to do that after, but it's okay. And then I have half a green pe uh, pepper that I just sliced um, into thin strips. I have half a red pepper that I sliced into thin strips also. And then half of a large onion, um, just sliced into thin strips also. This gives it a really nice flavor. And um, it's up to you, but I slice it larger so that, um, you know, if people don't want it, they can uh, pick it out. Um, or you can just um, do it smaller, whatever. And then I have four cloves of garlic mince that in and I have a bay leaf and you'll just want to make sure that you um, look for that and take it out when it's done cooking so all of those things and then the spices um, I have oregano here you want like one to two teaspoons um, you can always add more once it's done cooking and I'll write the recipe below and um, basil, so one to two teaspoons, so depending on how much um, flavor you like your food to have. Pour that over top. And I add a little bit of red pep crushed red pepper flakes because we like our food to have a lot of flavor and a little bit of spice. So I just add a little bit in there. You don't have to if you don't want to. Then I add about a half a cup of water, just right over top. And that's really it. I just need to add my tomato to, um, paste in there. And then you can just stir it around a little bit. This is very easy. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like it, when it's done, but you just serve it over pasta and you can um, make a big salad with it or garlic bread or both, whichever you prefer. Um, I cook this on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. So it's very simple and um, 
the chicken gets really tender. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after it's cooked on high for four hours. And um, what I do is I take the lid off while I boil the noodles and make the salad just so the um, sauce can thicken up just a little bit. And um, I always taste it and see if I need to add, you know, salt or a little more spices. So make sure you taste it. Um, it'll be really hot, so don't burn yourself, of course. But um, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to make my pasta and salad, and I'll show you how I serve it when it's done. Okay, guys. So I have my salad all made. And then I made some um, homemade croutons for my guys with just the ends of the bread. And I uh, cooked my pasta. And this is just what it looks like. Um, let's serve it right over top of your pasta. And um, also make sure that you take the bay leaf out of here. So the chicken um, thighs are just like that. And you can um, add a little Parmesan cheese if you want. But it's a really flavorful, easy meal, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel, How Jen Does It. Thanks so much for watching.